Uh, hello guys. Uh, as the title suggests in this video, we are going to configure or add our Jo email on Windows to Windows 10 email app. So uh, let's see here. Uh, I'll be showing you how you can <coughs> configure your Jo email on Windows 10 mail app with two-factor two-factor authentication on and without two-factor authentication on. So first of all, let's go with two FA disabled which is by default disabled so let's see i have already logged into my joho mail you can see here now my email is right here you can see this is my email which i will be going to add on windows 10 mail app so first of all we'll need to go to settings and then find this section email forwarding and pop map just click on it after that find this imap section and then status which is by default disabled you have to enable this if you want to add uh, this in uh, this mail <coughs> on windows 10 mail app just enable it okay now it's in, it's enabled now what we need to do is go to windows 10 mail app and add our mm, mail on that uh, remember that we have to have it disabled at this time which by default is disabled so let's go to our mail app here it is now we'll need to add it on this just click on the gear icon and then manage accounts and then add in add account choose this one other account pop imap now into your email here my Joho email I just showed you this one just I'll just log in with this now just give a name to this account on Windows 10 mail app just I'll say Joho there and then enter the password and the actual password from which you have logged into your Zoom mail, just enter that and then sign in. Okay. now let's see yes my new email just I added, which I just added <coughs> this is the one hold on while we what happened my password is incorrect I guess again I'm entering it login refresh it Your emails. <laughs> Again, save it. Okay, now yes, and now it's logged in. Uh, you can see we have logged in to our mail app uh, without using 2FA now I will be showing you how to log in using 2FA when you have 2FA enabled you wouldn't be able to log in like this uh, the setup is a little bit different than this so I will just remove it once again account setting delete account delete ok now let's enable our 2FA in Zoom mail uh, yes this setting no to enable e to your fa on your zoom mail just go to my account from here and then this is the dashboard 
go to two factor authentication now you can select one of these uh, 2FA uh, methods uh, you can use Google Authenticator uh, which is easy no 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 just you can use one of these just email or enable one of these I will just go for SMS text phone number this is the one enter your password again and then update it now my 2FE is enabled because I have already verified my phone number that's why I didn't need to do it again uh, now my 2FE is enabled now let's try to uh, log in to mail app again after enabling 2FA on my Zoom app. Let's see what happens. What we what kind of error do you get? Again, go to manage account and then add account, go to others and then add it. Okay, now just do okay. Password now just sign in. Okay, it's done now, but it says done, but it's not. Let's see again here uh, because of our 2FA is enabled. First of all, we need to uh, authenticate our login, but uh, uh, the mail app doesn't support like that something like that uh, so if you have to have enabled you will continuously get this message your account settings are out of date you need to fix it so you will get this continuously get this uh, notice uh, while to have is enabled to solve this we will need to go to again to Joe mail Joe account go to 2FA this one setting and then at the end you can see here manage application specific passwords click on this one now just give it a name uh, we are trying to add this mail <coughs> on windows 10 mail app just i will so i'll just rename it as win 10 mail app and then enter my current password now it will generate a application specific password which can be used for only one app i'll just generate it Invalid password again wrong password generate it now I've got this password you can see that just copy it uh, after copying it go to mail app now again uh, wait for it and just delete this account again or nothing no account setting now enter the password on here this enter this password i just copy paste the password select all paste and then save it now we are good to go you can see this so when our 2f is enabled <coughs> we can directly just log into uh, uh, just add our the mail to win 10 app by just by entering our regular password uh, we need to generate the to uh, application specific password from 2fa setting here and then use that uh, remember that it will show this uh, password only once this time after that you can view this password so uh, be sure to log in using it right away when you generate it okay so that's it uh, hope you have understood might be a little confusing but if you can comment just in case you can always comment if you face any problem so goodbye thanks for watching and also remember if you need to uh, if you need to learn how to uh, get free email hosting on Zoho how you can configure your uh, domain email Mm, on Joe, uh, check out the tutorial on this video description. Check out the link for tutorial on this video link description. You can find their tutorial on how you can add uh, your domain email on Joho free email, like I have this one done here for lifetime. This is for lifetime free email hosting for lifetime with Joe.
if you have domain you can do that okay so check out the link in the description for that tutorial have a good day goodbye thanks for watching again